Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with a new video and for the first time in a very, 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 very long time, I'll be playing Rugby Challenge 4. So before we get into today's video, please do uh, drop a like, leave a comment down below, give me your thoughts on Rugby Challenge 4, where do you think it stacks up in the tier list of rugby video games? Is it an absolute abomination? Is it a good game? Is it mediocre? Let me know in the comments down below and of course if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button. So let's not mess around, we're going to get straight into a game um yeah i think we may go ireland versus south africa um we'll do a bit of a change in the match settings we will go to the aviva um we're going to reduce it down to normal just because i have not played this game for several years so we'll get it down to normal i've got to get used to things yet again Let's get off to the Aviva for some Rugby Challenge 4. Here we are then, the Aviva Stadium, Ireland versus South Africa, two of World Rugby's heavyweights. Ireland currently the number one best team in the world, up against the World Cup holders. Two humongous teams, as you can see there in the lineups. Be interesting to see which one gets further in the World Cup. Can Ireland finally get past the quarterfinal stage? Will South Africa retain their World Cup or will they bottle it? I will of course give all my thoughts on every country a bit closer to World Cup time and let you know what I think and my predictions for the World Cup. And here we go, Rugby Challenge 4. I mean, I don't think I've played much of this game since... 2021 I would suggest um, it's been a long time always thought of this game as a mixed bag really I think the gameplay is a bit hit and miss that was not straight I think rugby 22 probably has the better gameplay but rugby challenge does have the editing it does have the better game modes. You can actually play a cr proper career mode where, you know, you take your favorite team and manage them over several years and make transfers and fight for trophies and things like that. That is certainly what Rugby 22 lacks. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, the main part of any rugby game that we all want to enjoy is the gameplay. And I think... Really, it's a bit of a shambles. Tackle. It's very bud and bashy. I'm just reminding myself now as I play these first few phases of the game. Very, very bud and bashy. Can't really get too much fluid rugby going. The, um, the handling, the passing is just not very... I mean, I'm not asking for realistic. You know, I'm just asking Release. for fun. Um, I think Rugby 22 you can fling the ball around and make some more. Holding on, South Africa penalty. Neither game, of course, is perfect at all. Um, and fingers crossed, Rugby 24 is going to be the best of both worlds. Hopefully we'll have fun gameplay and the game modes, editing, things like that. If we can get a mixture of both, then we should be in line for the best rugby game since 08, in my opinion. And in Big Ant, I trust. We, unfortunately, have had the ball turned over at the line-out. Faf de Klerk gets the game underway, and here goes Cheslin Colby. And he's gone all the way round and scored the first try of the game. Made the Irish defenders look like they were walking in butter. 
all started with Faf from the line out turnover Cheslin Colby just burns round the outside fends off <laughs> look at all four of those Irish players all diving at the exact same time looking absolutely terrible Andre Pollard now to sink this one no he doesn't slightly wide and that'll take us I believe to half time South Africa five points to the good so it's going to take me a fair bit of getting used to this game again I think when we did the rugby challenge four series we were on a better oh, just turned over straight away what a crunching hit though get in turn it nope Holding on, South Africa again. Can we do something from this penalty? Right, there we go. Hopefully that goes out into touch, which it does. Let's hopefully not turn this one over. Then we go with a five-man line out. And we're going to hit the front man. Hopefully that's straight enough. Yep, we got that one. Unfortunately, he has been tackled all the way back there. Right, let's see if we can try some sort of move. Ring Rose out to Kearney. Earls cannot quite get there. But we have won the ball back. The set plays as well on this game are not the greatest. Stockdale burning on the outside. Crunching tackle. That's going to get turned. Nope, we managed to get some bodies in there, but they've turned it over anyway. This is what I mean. It's just... You're just flinging the ball around ring rows. Let's see if we can get one more. We can. Henshaw, one more. We can. Earls. What are you doing, Earls? What are you doing, my boy? Big, long pass out wide. Sexton. Stockdale. High tackle. Certainly is. And is it going to be a yellow? Get in the sin bin, Cheslin Colby. What can we do from here? I think we may just go for a tap. Oh, we can't quite get in there. All right, let's go out wide. We'll go left. Pass it then. One more ring rose. Stockdale. Oh, he seems to have lost all pace. Can somebody join him in the breakdown? All right, here we go. Nope, straight into a tackle. Let's see if we can get out wide this time. Best. Nope, all of our players has lost all energy. They cannot do anything. Let's go this way again. Stockdale again, very, very slow. Gets absolutely mullered in the tackle. We got 80 minutes on the clock. Probably best. One more. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ugh. Why have you got to dive on it like that? Ensure crunched. We are going backwards. James Ryan, Ring Rose out to Stockdale, who has lost all pace whatsoever. Can we get in the breakdown? They're going to turn it over. Our props are just so slow. And that will probably be the end of that as Faf kicks it in the touch. South Africa have beaten Ireland. And that is Rugby Challenge 4 in 2023. Please do drop a like if you've enjoyed this content. Leave a comment down below. As I mentioned at the start of this video, give me your thoughts on Rugby Challenge 4. Very, very hit and miss for me. Not very enjoyable to play, but the game modes and the editing is there. Of course, we did the career mode as the Bristol Bears, so we've got that on the channel if you want to check that out. Two seasons of goodness. And potentially some more Rugby Challenge 4 content coming to the channel. Um, if you see my community posts, you know that my World League uh, save on EA Sports Rugby 08 is corrupted and disappeared. 
Um, so I put a poll on my community tab to see what you guys wanted next as a series before Rugby 24 comes out. And at the minute, I was very surprised, but at the minute Rugby Challenge 4 is currently winning that poll. So there could be more content coming from this game. But there we go, guys. Um, I can't remember how far we got, but please do more that subscribe button if I haven't mentioned that already. I've been the Bears Gamer, and I'll see you in the Virtual Scrum. Man are from Bristol. Take two shots of the ting. Come let it bang like a pistol. Girl in the party, blowing the ting, just like a whistle. Yeah, they love their god, but where we're from, it's more like a crystal. Cause man are from Bristol. Man are from Bristol. Take two shots of the ting. Come let it bang like a pistol. Girl in the party, blowing the ting, just like a whistle.